All right, so to begin, we're going to need an Apple TV, the Apple remote, and then something to plug it into. So you want to take your power cord, plug that in so we give the TV power, and then we're going to need to connect it. This is an HDMI cable, so we have to find an HDMI port. And as you can see, this is a HDMI mail, so I'm just going to take this off and then plug the cable straight into the Apple TV. Now, if you're plugging it into a projector or a television, most likely the port on the TV or the projector is going to be female. Male is the, the end that you plug the thing into. So once you have it plugged in, we're going to have to select the source. Now it will be different whether you're a projector or a TV or if you're at an MPS station like this. So you just find where it says source and then make sure it says HDMI. So once you have it connected to the projector, you need to come over here to settings. And we're going to go to general. And then we're going to scroll down here to network and then we're going to configure the Wi-Fi. And you're controlling all of this by using your Apple remote using the uh, left to right and then the center button for enter. So with this then you're going to have a list of all your Wi-Fi networks and you'll just choose whatever Wi-Fi network that you're using for your iPhone or iPod or uh, iPad. And then once it's connected, click menu to come back, and you should see movies, TV shows, all this good stuff. But what you're going to want to do is come back over here to settings, and then we're going to go down here to AirPlay. Make sure that AirPlay is on, and if it's still the same factory settings, there won't be a password, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you have a classroom full of students and some of them start airplane from their devices, then you'll want to set a password. So to begin airplay from the device, double click the home button, you'll see the bottom here comes up, swipe to the left, and then right here you're going to see the airplay icon. So you're going to tap that icon, you're going to select the Apple TV, and then you're going to want to turn on the mirroring right there. Then once you turn on the mirroring, this is what you'll see. So now that you have your iPad or iPhone mirrored, now you're just going to see the initial uh, screen and whatever you do on your iPad is now going to show up to the rest of the class. So for example, let's go ahead and pull up something fun. Pull up this Star Walk. It's a pretty beautiful app looking at the astronomy. So, here, as I move around in the classroom, this is a beautiful app. It shows me the different stars and constellations and everything that I would see depending if it, or if it was nighttime and where I was looking. So, you can see that as you see just on the screen, but as I'm moving it around here, this is a really good stream, really good connection. It's uh, quite synchronous. And that's how you set up your airplay, bringing it into the classroom.